back. Okay, as you know, we always celebrate very random holidays like National Bubble Bath Day, National Clean Off Your Desk Day, but there is a new holiday we discovered. It is National Mocktail Week. It gets a whole week. As you know, this month, a lot of people are doing Dry January, so we brought in two of our favorite Dry January participants, Mike and Amanda. I say favorite now, but you're about to be my competition what? because we are having a mocktail oh. matchup, which means yes, cocktails mm -hmm. minus mm -hmm. the booze. David from Aviary has graciously brought us a lot of things. In the commercial break, you kind of gave us a run through of all the things. Mm -hmm. So are you guys ready to get started making our mocktails? Let's do oh, this. yes. We have our tiki mugs. All which right. are beautiful, and I don't know, like, do we just start pouring things in the mug? We do have one it's shaker. You. It's, uh, you can mm. shake I'm going to take that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. We got all Let's syrups, we've got juices, mm -hmm. and Ooh, um, we got soda, and we have uh, coconut water. Go around and get them in. Find it. Don't them. tell them all the secrets. Okay. Um, um, let's see. I'm going to go with a little what? Okay. Blood orange sure. syrup. That's a beautiful yeah. color, even though you can't see it in there. And then this is a kumquat shrub. I don't think we do. Quats are like tiny little oranges. Exactly. exactly. No, this guy. That's a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. blood yeah. orange. <laughs> that sounds good. Stand closest okay. to the bartender. So, David, we're yeah. watching at home. Do you have okay, any tips? Okay, we'll stand closer to him. Do you have any? Now we split up the team. What? Yeah, we split up yes. the couple. Oh, you're going. You're both going over there. Running from okay, the any tips <laughs> for making mocktails at home? Just not even doing. Um, I say definitely they tend to be a little sweet, kind of with my experience. So you usually want some kind of something to lengthen it out. Like I brought soda water, ginger beer, even some coconut water, something like that. Is usually a good kind of yeah. base to uh, uh, substitute for your alcohol. I like dash. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Take it. Okay. I'll get a cup. Okay. <laughs> do you see, have you noticed people coming into aviary more? And, um, oh, Christian said that was too much ice. Yeah. Christian, we don't need backseat <laughs> control room bartenders, backseat okay? bartending. Uh, I think I want the soda. I what? feel like yeah. that's going to be the What's biggest next? addition. Um, yeah. Do you see more people coming into oh. Aviary this month and having mocktails? That was Definitely. just to get the January is a very ready. popular time Thank for mocktails. Yeah. And yeah. It's Chilling good for us to have options for non-alcoholic people as well, you know? So, yeah. you know, people quit drinking for a variety of reasons, and there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to have a fun okay. mocktail, too. They um, hog the shaker over there, so I'm just mixing with a <laughs> oh, compostable oh, straw. It. How long until okay. this straw... Oh, just a little rinse? Yeah, okay. A little roll. If it has any extra flavors, it's because their cocktail went in there. How are they doing over there? Oh, pretty, I didn't ask you, confident. I asked yeah. the professional. Oh, look at that beautiful color. You did ask the professional and I answered. <laughs> now, if I, if, should I be like the professional bartender and do my own little taste so, test yeah. thing? Where you, oh. you stick the straw in there, mm -hmm. you plug the top, yeah, right? Just a little taste. Oh. Gotta care, gotta know oh, yeah. what's out there. It's That's amazing. It. it is, yeah, <laughs> the best, it's yeah. perfect. I yeah, think so. Nailed it. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Because David is a professional, he's gonna be our judge, but we're gonna take a quick commercial break and hope the ice doesn't melt until we come back. <laughs> yeah, this one, right? Okay, we are back for the live taste test, the live judging of our mocktail competition, judged by bar manager, David, from Aviary. You watched us in process mm -hmm. um, while we were trying to do this. Okay, okay, Vanna, oh, okay, you can't just right. like muddle your way <laughs> to a win. Why not muddle Why your not? way? I heard Why you not? talking about muddling. There's no muddling here. So what's the name of your beverage while he tastes it? It's the Haymander. The, the Haymander. Haymander. Like yes. a salamander? Ooh. It's sneaky. You just like took your last <laughs> name and made it into an animal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What did you put in here? What was it? Um, so we did the blood orange, mm -hmm. and we did the lime juice, okay. and then we did some of the coconut water, yeah. and a little bit of honey to oh. make it sweet. That's mm -hmm. great. All right. Yeah, great. Okay, here's yeah. mine. Okay. Um, it has also the blood orange, the kumquat shrub. Ooh. Lime juice and soda water. I'm calling it a bloody vacation. <laughs> Which, if you're if you're British, that's like a bloody great time. But we're in the tropics. Oh man, it's really close. Um, really oh close, my gosh. But not and again, great, while you're right? thinking, uh. while you're deliberating, judges, yeah. one judge, Tiki Night at Aviary is this Saturday, one night only, five to ten p.m. You can do walk-in or reservation. Oh, he's going back mm. for a second taste. All right, I have to give it to Cassie. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, no. oh, very close. We all get to go on a bloody vacation. Yes, Cheers. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Again, Tiki Night at Aviary, right. you can't make your own mocktail, you can let David make it for you, it will be even better. Cheers guys! Right. Thank you! I don't know if I've ever won a competition on this show, that might be a first. <laughs>